fresh, this shit high, boy. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, beautiful Pushy. <laughs> so y'all, today I was just it's like three. Yeah, it's like three o'clock in the morning, y'all. And I was really just sitting here thinking, like, I haven't really seen many videos of this. I mean, maybe there are some, but I haven't came across them. But anyways, this video is going to be about five ways to know that you are losing yourself in a relationship. Five ways. And y'all, I'm really talking to my ladies because I'm a lady. So it's just, just some things that I experienced when I was in a relationship. And you know, I'm sure it's some males as well, but you know, vice versa, men or women, these are five ways to know that you may be losing yourself in a relationship. One reason you can tell that you're losing yourself within a relationship, you may find yourself losing contact with people that you were always close with. Like it could be close family, or, you know, close friends, you know, the people that you were always around prior to you, you know, getting in a relationship and people grow apart. You know, y'all can have your own specific reasons why I may not talk, but we're talking about just noticing that you're not really spending as much time with your friends. You're not going out too much. You know, it's, it's mainly you're just always with your significant other and you don't spend time with, you know, your, your close friends or family anymore because now you're in a relationship and sometimes it's cool like at first you know it's it is cool because you know y'all want to y'all want to bond and y'all want to be around each other all the time like but then it's like when your friends are seeing if you can come out with them you don't want to go out because your significant other wants you to stay in with him or her like they want you to chill with them and that's all fine and dandy but it's like when you notice that you are not spending any time with your friends, like, and you are just always in the house with your significant other, like, it can become toxic. You know, you may vent to your significant other, you know, y'all should be close like that, that you can talk to your significant other about whatever. Your significant other may give you some advice or tell you certain things about certain people, play mad games with you, telling you that your friends may be influencing you in a negative way, telling you things that may have you choosing to stay in the house with a significant other versus going out. But y'all, y'all need to, like, I feel like it is very essential for you to go out with your friends. Like, you should, y'all have to go all the time, like, every week and none of that. Like, but y'all should definitely still spend time with each other. Like, still get out that house. Like, you, you have to get outside of that house and, you know, have your own fun and your own happy place outside of the hunt. Second way you may notice that you may be losing yourself in a relationship, you start noticing that you're the one putting in more effort in the relationship. Like you're the one that is showing more affection. You're the one that is trying to do things with each other. You're the one that, you know, basically is showing that you care about the relationship. You just notice that you're basically carrying the relationship. Third way that you can tell that you may be losing yourself in a relationship. You notice yourself starting to prove to this person, your significant other, that you are worthy enough for them. Like you're proving to them that you're a great girlfriend. Like you're proving to them that you're the person for them. Like you're doing all this to try to show them that you're the one for them. Where it should be like the feeling should be mutual. Like you should feel love. Like you should feel like that person cares about you. You should feel like that person wants to be around you. Like that person should be showing you affection, boosting your confidence. Like that person should be your number one fan, period. And you should not have to prove that you are good enough for this person. If that person is not expressing to you that you're the one for them, like they're not showing you that love that you need, the words that you want to hear, the affection that you want to feel, not planning things to do with you. Like they're just not showing any type of love language, any type of love language to basically let you know that they want you in their lives. You need to cut that. You start to lose confidence in yourself because it's like the person's not really showing you affection that, you know, they once have in the beginning or, you know, telling you that they love you or telling you that they care about you or you know showing the actions that they care about you just basic things like complimenting you telling you you look good or maybe you may have been trying to lose weight and maybe you lost weight and it's just like 
you like, oh, hey, babe, like, oh, look, look oh, I tightened up, or, oh, babe, I lost 10 pounds, and then they just, like, okay. Like, it's just, they don't celebrate your accomplishments. You know, they don't tell you anything to make you feel like the that you once was before you got in that relationship. So, um, yeah, you start to lose a lot of confidence in yourself, especially now that you're not around other people. You're, like, relying on your partner's words of affirmation. And if they're not giving you that affirmation, you know, making you feel like you're the queen or king that you are, your confidence then went from here to down here. Like, you really ain't trying to do anything. You really ain't trying to go nowhere. You, you just be down. You may catch yourself being emotional. You may catch yourself, like, asking why like why don't you love me why don't you show this affection towards me like just asking all these questions in regards to the ways one through four how i just explained you may start wondering like dang why don't i talk to nobody dang why ain't he like showing me the attention that he was in the beginning like just wondering just why all these reasons and and what can you do and what are you doing wrong it, it brings your confidence down because when you start to lose confidence, it can also be because you know this person is cheating on you and you've been trying to prove to them that you are worthy enough to be with them. Like just trying to prove to them that you're the one and they're still doing you wrong. They're still cheating on you, you know, still manipulating you mentally. Yeah, all that will tear your confidence down when you realize like, dang, like I'm doing all that I can. I'm trying to do things that you like. I'm trying to express myself and communicate my feelings. Like I'm, I'm trying to do all these things to make this relationship work. And it's like, you just keep on dogging. You just keep doing shit over and over. Like, so yeah, that's going to bring your confidence down because it's like, I'm not understanding. Like, what am I doing wrong? Why don't this person love me? Like I love them. Like, it's just a lot just goes through your head when you're dealing with, like, mental abuse or even physical abuse. A lot goes on in your head, and it just brings you down. And number five, after all of that, usually what happens is you just become numb to the situation in general. It's like you just give up, basically, like, and you just deal with it. You care, but then it's like they're going to keep doing it anyway. It's like you just, you just be numb to everything, like. And you start to realize, like, the chemistry is not there. You will be emotional, of course, because you don't understand. And you just accept it. After you accept it, after a while, you do you do come to your senses, like, what am I doing? Like, <laughs> what am I doing? Like, why am I taking all this mental abuse? And if you're, you know, it can be physical abuse. Like, why am I doing this to myself? Why am I letting another person affect the way that I'm feeling about myself, the way that I'm carrying myself, the way that I am moving for myself? Like, why am I letting this person have so much control? Especially when you got so much going for yourself, ladies. When you have so much going for yourself and then you notice, like, the man ain't even pulling the weight that he should or it's like, <laughs> He's not being the king that he's supposed to be. He's not making you feel like the queen that you are. You're going to come to realization and you're going to reevaluate. You're going to start working on fixing that situation. Let me tell y'all a couple ways on how you can redeem yourself after you didn't lost yourself in a relationship. Number one thing I'm just going to say, and it, and it works, pray. Pray, y'all. I'm telling you it works if you're not like a spiritual person or whatever pray to whoever you pray to or whatever but pray until you get that confidence to be like you're gonna be like what the f am i doing like did i forget did i forget that i'm like you start remembering like how you had you had him him and him try and be on you you know you had people complimenting you all the time just all that. And then you get into this relationship. And it's, you know, you got that honeymoon stage. And it's cool. Then you realize down the road, like, they doing whatever they want to do to you. A man's going to treat you however you let them. It does come down to, are you going to continue to deal with this? Or are you going to continue to let them treat you this way? Like, are you happy in this situation? Like, are you truly happy with yourself in this situation? You have to think about that. 
So yeah, y'all. So what you gonna do, especially if you if you living with somebody, you gotta go. You gotta get out. Sometimes um, different different situations are different, but y'all y'all gotta figure it out. Y'all gotta go. If y'all got a joint lease or whatever, <laughs> go find you a place. You don't have to give no notice to the landlord because it's in both of y'all names. You don't have to give no notice to the landlord. Go find your own crib and. We is way better than that. Like, we deserve to be treated like a queen that we are. We deserve to be loved. We deserve to be happy. Like, it ain't no way that we're going to sit here and let someone come into our lives and throw everything in the fucking garbage or happiness or confidence. So what we're going to do, y'all, first things first, you're going to get yourself together because you probably just, you probably gave up on how you look, all that, like, Get yourself together, get dressed, go out, you know, get back in contact with your friends, like get out of that house. You have to get out of the house because one thing I really believe is energy and I feel like energy can transfer like that. I feel like energy can transfer. It, it kind of reminds me of that movie Fallen with Denzel Washington, if y'all know what that is. If not, YouTube it, um, a movie where he was like a spirit or something like that, but when he texts somebody, it was like he transferred into their body. But I use that example because it's like when you're around negative energy, negative vibes for too long, it can rub off on you and it can drain the fuck out of you. Like you don't know. <laughs> no, lady. So, yeah, go enjoy yourself. Go have fun. You have to be around other people that's going to make you happy. You have to tell yourself that you're that that you have to tell yourself that you're that dude we talking about men men and women i'm mainly talking to females because i am a female but we're talking about men and women you have to remember who you are like you have to remember who you are because regardless if one person don't want you best believe there's somebody else there's multiple people out there who want you we're not dwelling on anyone to want to keep us if they don't <laughs> want to be kept like go on about your business no hard feelings. You do you, baby. You do you. And I'ma do me. Yeah, but I just was thinking about that. Another thing you can do when you're like so emotional. Heartbreak ain't no joke. Heartbreak is not a joke, yo. Like, some people really go crazy over heartbreak. Like, for mental, if y'all need, if y'all really need mental help, y'all, Go get help. Go see a therapist. Go talk to somebody about your feelings and how you feel. Now go get some advice somewhere. Like, go get professional help because you just never know. In our community, y'all, the African American community, it's like we look down on therapy. I don't know who. <laughs> I don't know who told us getting mental help is bad. It's pretty sad though that a lot of people think that getting help is weak they look at it as if you know you're weak if you go get help they they look at a lot of stuff in our community but yeah y'all go get some help go talk to a friend because you just never know you might actually one of your friends may have actually been dealing with that and they may have some tips for you like yeah y'all i'm gonna be rambling but that was just on my brain you know i was thinking about a few things that is five ways to know that you may be losing yourself in a relationship if you're not already lost Thanks for stopping past my channel. I appreciate you watching my video. And y'all, I see y'all watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Drop a comment and tell me what you think about this advice. Like, if you feel like this advice is helpful or if you have something to add, drop a comment, y'all. Because everybody can use some help. Everybody can use some help. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Until next time.